my 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 instinct is that much of what is out there was conversation that um, was assumed to be in confidence that obviously was not held in confidence. I think most of the things you don't want in the press are things Mr. Haldi would happily not want in the press. Um, allegations about potential um, 413, 414 issues and things like that. I mean, let's just cut to the chase. The, the issues in terms of media are not issues related to um, the attorneys, their agents, the investigative staff, press conferences. Um, or any intentional actions on the part of parties. You know, one of the, and the many things I have to balance here is what is the pressing need and what's the pressing circumstance. Um, again, I don't want to speak for you, Mr. Haldi, but I doubt there's anything listed in there that the state says, you know, we really don't, everybody doesn't need to know about credibility or character or prior allegations and things like that. I mean, everybody would love to have that um, uh, to some extent. Um, considering the present media coverage. It, it'd be really hard to enter a, in essence, a gag order against um, involving one co-defendant, one co-defendant's attorney in the state and not, uh, you know, it's it's sort of like trying to um, set up a, a tripod and without one of the legs. Um, I don't know that I'm that, my balance is that good. Um, but I do, I do have to compare it to the standards and the narrowness and the compelling interest. So I'm going to do some, because I was, as I'm sure your staff in Newton County told you, I was with them until seven last night. So I, unusually for me, have not actually read the cases and prepped in advance. Uh, I'm sure after discussions with counsel, the nature of any exchanges and conversations with family members would probably be much more guarded in light of the circumstances now anyway. Right. But I can't compel third parties who will become aware of information to not say anything. Mr. Holly, I don't think has spoken to anybody, so I don't want to make sure it's clear. I wasn't thinking he's done anything wrong at all, but no, no. I mean, it also just makes it easier for other people to respond it's, it's, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way that keeps the fairness of the case intact. Uh, and that is ultimately our goal, is that we um, be in a position to, um, if we're selecting a jury, select a jury that is as fair and impartial as we can gather. Yes, sir. Um, so I'm not going to rule on it yet. I do think opposing counsel probably needs to have um, in the intervening time period. Um, you know, I mean, I, 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 I trust um, the the agencies involved that if uh, if Mr. McGinley, if you relate to them that the matter is under consideration and I would expect no, I think largely it makes it easier for them to say there's an order or we've, you know, but at this point in time, you know, it's also easy to say can't comment on a pending case at this point in time and we'll sort out what kind of order we need. We'll tarot, we'll, we'll tailor it as narrowly as possible. Um, and, um, but I do think we need input from independent counsel for, um, Zachary Zulak as well, since he would come into the case and be bound by it.